Hi. One of the things we do a lot at Hot Takes is hide the cameraman when he's in shot. Because often we have like two, two or three cameramen shooting the same climbing. And often some, you know, particularly the ones hanging on the cliff getting the shots of the, the long shots from the ground. Like in this example here, we've got here we've got Pete Whitaker, and he's, 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 he's climbing away. And this is shot from the ground. We've got a cameraman just out of shot up here. And that's, that's, his, that's his angle there. He's looking down at Pete, which is all great. We're loving the shot. But as soon as we get to this shot here coming up, there we go. Look at that. Totally ruined it. For me, that's totally ruined the film now. It's got, we've got me hanging in shot on a skateboard. And suddenly, all the audience is not thinking about Pete and what he's doing. They're looking at this guy here hanging on a rope. But luckily, there's a really quick way of fixing this, which all you have to do is just grab that clip there. And I'll make a quick copy of that, bang it on top of itself like that. So now we've got two copies of it next to each other. And if we just quickly uh, load that into the viewer there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab a little section of this clip here and just bang it on top of myself there. So what we'll do is one thing I find that helps this process is if you actually just quickly desaturate the top copy, make it black and white like that. And then when we do the uh, cropping like this, you'll see what it makes it a bit easier to see what you're doing. Uh, so we'll crop up on the left. And the other thing that actually makes a massive difference is if you put the wireframes on. So we'll put the wireframes on. Like so. Uh, so we're going to crop like that. And yeah, probably from around there. And we'll crop from the right. Just come in this side like so. Like that. Uh, crop from the top a little bit. Uh, take some from the bottom. You don't really, really need the edge of this. Like so. Something like that maybe. So what we've got, what we've what we actually created there now, we've actually look at this. Do we turn these other tracks off a sec? There, we've got this little square of crag. So all we need to do now is just position that crag right, exactly where we want it. So we just click it on the wireframe, drag it over here, look here's the magic. Position it so it looks kind of reasonably sensible, something like that maybe. I'm actually going to add maybe add a little bit more to the bottom of that. So we'll, if we just scroll that out like that. I've lost a bit of peat, so I'll go back up a bit. And then we'll feather like that just by about eight or nine or something just to and then let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. So you can see there, we'll turn the clip off. There's a the cameraman, clip on, there he's gone. So all we need to do now is quickly uh, quick, quickly render that clip, like so. I'm sure we take a couple of or something. It takes a little bit longer because there's feathering involved. And this works really well both with rock, but particularly, works particularly well with snow and ice because uh, for some reason snow really feathers really well, it's like kind of wrinkling. But the thing about this method, this a method only works if you if you shot, you crop like this this long shot is fixed on a tripod, and it has to be just on a tripod, but but locked down a tripod, no movement whatsoever. If the tripod starts moving, even if it's been blown in the wind, then this method won't work. You'll have a kind of this will start shaking around and it won't work. But as long as you know that, so when I look at the crag and I know that this cameraman is going to be in shot, my my, my direction to the guy down below is you know, lock the tripod off, get your shot, move it, lock the tripod off again. So it means when you come to edit, you know, you've got the option in the edit. That's almost going to finish. Just uh, pause a sec like this. Okay, and we're done. So now, there we have it. So we can watch the sequence back. There's Pete grinning away, loving, loving it. Cut to long. There we go. And there he is. There's a shot from the camera again. Uh, take a close look at that. Now you could, if you wanted, you, there is a bit of rope there. You see that? But for me, that just looks like a line of quartz. I think we'll get away with that. If you wanted to go in a bit more detail, you could do it. Also, the colour correction is not quite right on that. I could maybe try and match that a little bit, take a bit of the saturation out. But for me, the audience should be looking at the action. They should be looking at this blob of green here wedged in the crack. They shouldn't be looking at where the cameraman should be. So I think it works really well. And it's a great system for kind of uh, quickly masking out cameramen. Hope you find that useful. Cheers.